Okay, in this example solve, um, there are a few different options for us to start on. One might be green because I've got these pieces in, in these two faces where I can make a two by three really easily. Um, another one might be yellow um, just because I've got this one by three line already created. So let's just go with yellow in this situation. <clears throat> um, and I'll probably solve these two and this one. And I notice that as I'm doing these, as I'm solving these three into the yellow layer, I'm going to bring this edge into the yellow layer, which isn't ideal. But what we can do is immediately do that as soon as we finished this, this two by three here, and then pair it up with this one and insert it. Now I've got this block here <clears throat> and it's always nice to create either a 2x2 two two from that or a T. Um, probably what I'll do is rotate this direction, make a 2x2 two two, and remember I've got these two pieces over here. So now I, I can do something like F U, insert that 1x2 and then I've got this piece here, this piece here and this piece back here. So I can go something like L prime U prime D2 and then insert that. Now when I rotate, um, hmm, I think the best thing to do might be actually green on the back here. And orange is pretty nice as well, but so are the red and blue. Um, I suppose green is probably the best one to do. So I can make a one by three there and insert it into the back. Then I've got these two and this one. So I can do something like R2 U prime R2 U R. Then I can go for the orange. So I've got these three and this one by three already created down here. Then finish off the orange by doing R U R prime, R prime D two R. Then I'll go for the blue center, build the two by three like that, and then finish off. And then as I'm doing that, I notice this red and green block with this red and green edge. And then I've got the blue and yellow, blue and yellows here. And I also notice that I've got this block and this block back here, which I can work on after I finish the blue and yellow. I'll take it out and then work on the orange and yellow. So I've got these two there and then this one there. And also as I'm doing that, I'm noticing the red and yellows are getting formed automatically. So I'll insert that one, take it out and then in order to continue working on the orange and yellows, which I saw before, instead of doing a Z2 rotation, I'll probably do an X2 like that. And then because that, that, that puts these two in the front here. So I can slice to solve them, insert this one, slice back. And then our next, our next good option is probably the white and blue. So I can do this one, this one, and this one. Insert this, slice, then I guess the next good option is probably blue and red because we've got these two and I'm also noticing these white and red ones here. Solve those and then finish off the white and red and then restore, restore the centers. Now for my last, um, my last four edges, I've got this case in the front here with these two solved and this one down here. So I can do something like R prime U R slice R U prime R prime slice back. And then I'll solve this case like so. And then I just have a edge parity. Then I'll go and solve my white cross, which is pretty easy. I can do something like D prime R2 D2. And then to solve these last this, this last cross edge, as well as this F to L pair, I can do something like R U prime R prime U F. And then the next best pair to solve after that are those two into the back left. Then I'll probably go for these two. Then I'll probably go for this one and this one. And then I'll do a U2 to give myself a T OLL. Um, do the OLL from this angle to preserve that block. So, I'm going to get these two and this one to come to this position and then a J permutation.
Alrighty, so in this example, I'm drawn to the blue, the orange, and the red sides. Um, I think blue might be quite a good one to do. So what I can do is use this edge, edge center and these two to create a two by two, like that. Insert those two. And then for my last three blue center pieces, I've got this one and these two down here. And then I'll probably insert them into the back there like that and rotate the cube like this. Now there's only one piece over here, so that's not very useful. Um, I've got these two, these two, and this one, which, uh, which is, is quite a decent case. So we can do something like F prime R U R two F prime R and then insert that last one by two. So that's something that can be executed pretty quickly. Now for my last one by three on the green, I've got this one, this one, and this one. So I can do something like U2, F2, U prime like so, and insert it. Now when I rotate here, um, I see these red ones on the bottom. So I can do something like DU, and then use this one and that one. Now, probably before I go on to solve the rest of the red, I see I already have this yellow T. So what I can do is use this edge center to build that. And now I've got these two two by three blocks. So what I can do is continue working on the red center. So we've got this one, this one, and this one. And then finish off the yellow center. Um, just trying to figure out the best way to do this we can do something like r2 u prime r prime u2 r u prime r2 like that and then for my orange center probably what i'll do is do these two to preserve this block and as well as insert this one down here and then finish off the orange center there now once i've done that i noticed I've noticed a few things. I notice I've got these two white blocks in the back here. Um, and probably what I'll do is go ahead and use this one and these two like that. And then I've got these two and this one. Um, then I can go for probably the blue and orange. So I've got these two back here. So slice, flip and slice back. Now what I'll go for are the white and, uh, sorry, are the yellow and red. So this one, this one, and this one. So I can insert this one into the back, do a slice move, insert that one there, move them over to this position, and then it doesn't really matter too much what I do here. Probably what I'll do is R U prime R prime. And then because I don't really see anything useful in these two slots, I'll do the X2 rotation again, which gives me access to these as well as these. So I'll probably do those two like that and then hmm, I might go ahead and work on these uh, green and orange the green and orange dredge no, also just remembering that I've got these two and this one here so if my look ahead isn't great then I can just go ahead and solve these um, which I might do to be honest so with this one here and these two and I also notice this block here the green and red so when I solve those, I'll do the green and reds directly afterwards, take them out and then restore. Now I've got an easy case in the front where I can just slice, flip, slice back. And I'll probably have to do my M prime U two M trick here. So now I've got, I've basically just got a three cycle of edges for my last three edges. So I've got this one and these two, so I can take out this other unsolved uh, tread from the back, do a slice, replace it so that this block goes here and this one goes down here. So now when I slice back, I create these two treads as well. So what I can go for is the red cross, I think. It's pretty easy. Then I'll go for this pair in the front. Then I'll probably go for these two and insert them into the back. Then I might go for this one and this one. And then this one and this one. Um, OLL. I guess I would do COLL. And if I knew the ZBLL for this case, then I would definitely do that. But I just did COLL there. And then I have a U permutation.